Hey guys and uh, welcome to finally uh, an overview of my entire DVD collection. You can also see some of my Funko Pops and some of my Star Trek Spaceships collection or Star Trek uh, Starships collection rather. So I've been asked a couple of times to have a collection overview and um, well uh, I've been meaning to do this since uh, I think December of last year. Things just get, got into the way and uh, I kept thinking, you know, I need to clean up a little bit and uh, it's still not how I like, how I would like it to be. Uh, still got some work uh, to do on top, especially of this one, but this one at least is, is complete and, um, you know, uh, still not the way that I want it and I definitely do want another shelf, uh, which probably sometime later this year if the things... Uh, things are looking up, so therefore maybe I will definitely try to get one uh, later on this year, or uh, if not, then early next year. You know, I need to do a re uh, rearrange a few things, and uh, things go the way that it is. Yes, sometime later this year, or maybe January, Feb of next year. Anyhow, um, like I said, I've been wanting to do it in November, or de November, December of last year, because that would have been one year since I started collecting. Uh, of DVDs especially and um, I really wanted to do it at that time but couldn't. Uh, now finally uh, long overdue uh, I've had a pause in between of uh, in ordering because of COVID-19 those restrictions due to viruses during, due to the virus sorry so I uh, decided okay let's set up things and um, show you my entire collection. I must mention I do have a couple of things that are uh, on its way a few things, uh, so uh, that will be added on to my collection uh, a little later. Anyway, let's start off here with the big box set. Uh, most of these stuff are big box sets. I may change a couple of these like these and they may go down uh, a little later if I get another box set which is kind of big. But let's start off with the entire collection of uh, the entire 11 seasons of The X-Files. Awesome science fiction and supernatural. Uh, kind of stories collection if you are a fan of supernatural uh, stuff as well as science fiction aliens and all the alien alien conspiracies X-Files is the way to go I'm actually watching this show right now um, I'm in season one almost done with season one I'm watching a few episodes per week um, along with uh, some other shows so yeah uh, X-Files must have as far as I'm concerned 11 seasons, uh, 59 discs set, 218 episodes. It's worth it. Then we have another show that is uh, a must-have, I think, for a lot of people. It's the entire 10 seasons of Friends. Now, instead of the big box set, I actually got these sets, which are, um, you know, uh, three K three DVD box sets, which smaller box sets, which have the seasons split among them. This is season one to three. This is season uh, two, four, sorry, four to seven, and this is seasons. 8 to 10. 10 is of course a shorter season but still. Uh, they could have actually put 7 along with this but never mind. They've called, labeled it as the beginning, the middle and the end. Uh, then we have a couple of Roger Moore, uh, sorry, a couple of uh, James Bond collection uh, boxes. One is the Roger Moore collection, all 7 movies in which he was James Bond. And then we have the Daniel Craig collection of the 4 movies so far. Uh, the next one is coming out which will be the final one for Daniel Craig. Um, I also won the uh, Sean Connery collection and the um, Pierce Brosnan collection, but I couldn't find uh, a price that I was willing to pay for either of them. So uh, these were, I think this one was around fifteen dollars, and this one was around eighteen dollars. Uh, sorry, eighteen pounds, and this was fifteen pounds. But the but all, most of these are from Amazon UK, as you may know by now. This is the uh, was very surprised that this is a big set. This is the three movie. Despicable Me collection. Then you've got the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy in the World's End, Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead from Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. A huge fan of their work. Paul is another favorite which I also have in my collection. But uh, this, yeah, uh, I, I think I prefer Paul more. Uh, that's an awesome movie, awesome fun movie to watch. But these guys are pretty cool. Uh, then you've got the four movie complete collection of Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Temple of Doom, The Last Crusade, and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Now, unlike a lot of people, I don't actually hate the last movie. In fact, I actually enjoy it almost as much as the others. Um, I, uh, I don't really know which is my favorite. Probably it is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, and I do enjoy Kingdom of the Crystal Skull as well. 
Then we've got the Godfather collection. Four movies and a documentary. Sorry, three movies and a documentary. The Coppola restoration. Uh, must have in a lot of more people's collection, I'm sure. We're on to one of, what is the probably the best looking box set that I have. Because the design is, uh, each season has got its separate case. And overall, you see this, the ring, the Stargate, basically. So it's got that arc look over here, along with the skyline uh, of Atlantis. It's Stargate Atlantis, all five seasons. Yay! <laughs> One of my favorite series. And right next to it, it's got the spin, uh, the uh, third of the Stargate live action series, which is the complete series of Stargate Universe, just two seasons. I also want to get Stargate uh, SG-1, the big uh, series that they had. However, um, the bo I'm a little scared about buying box sets. I've had problems buying box sets recently. Um, because I'll speak about that in another uh, video. But uh, so I might look at buying a few seasons uh, here and there. And then, uh, you know, have it displayed together. And then finally, in this particular row over here, the big box set that you see here is... Uh, seasons 1 to 11, the entire collection of Frasier, which is my one of my favorite sitcoms. It's probably uh, number two in my uh, in my list. Okay, now we move on to the pride of my collection, because I am a huge Trekkie. Um, this is my Star Trek television series collection, along with one of a, one documentary, and you can also see my Star Trek Starships collection, the hero series pertaining to each se uh, each hero ships rather pertaining to each season so they're not in chronological order uh, so they're not in release order either so i just put them this way and seem to like it this way so we've got the complete series which is star trek the original series yep uh kirk spock mccoy uh, scotty and the rest and you've got the starship enterprise over here then you've got star trek enterprise the four seasons mm -hmm. um underrated series i believe uh Enterprises Season 3 and Season 4 are pretty awesome. Then you've got The Big Kahuna, Star Trek, The Next Generation, all seven seasons, The Enterprise D. Then you've got uh, Star Trek uh, Deep Space Nine, all seven seasons. You've got Star Trek Voyager, all seven seasons. <laughs> and uh, you've got uh, Star Trek Discovery. I've just got the first season. I will get, this, I will get Season 2 a little later. I got a really good deal on the Star Trek Discovery uh, Season 1 uh, DVD set. Uh, so I'm looking for something similar on eBay. And uh, I've got the disc the uh, documentary, What We Left Behind, which is about um, the making makers and the cast and crew of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. So that's an awesome uh, documentary to have as well. Uh, we'll move on to this shelf over here, which is because it's a continuation of Star Trek. And now you will start finding that these are all my science fiction um uh, series and uh, series and uh, movies so you've got the first 10 star trek movies of the uh, prime timeline i have two copies of Nem uh, of generations that is uh, this is one and this is this is the odd uh, this is the all unique not unique but all similar designs and unfortunately i didn't get the same one for nemesis and by mistake, I actually got two uh, of generations uh, because this one was actually lost in the mail. And then I got, uh, I, re I had a replacement for this. But then this came, eventually made its way to me two months later. It got lost. <laughs> um, then we've got the Indian editions of the 2009 alternate timeline, Kelvin timeline, Kelvin verse, Star Trek 2009, Star Trek Into Darkness, which is uh, my least favorite Star Trek movie. And then you've got Star Trek Beyond which is my favorite of the Kelvin verse. Then you've got all Indian Indian editions of the Alien franchise, Alien, Aliens, the second movie, which is awesome. Uh, I like the first two really well. The third one, uh, is not so much, but I like the fourth one. Okay, I don't think it's bad. I think it's uh, kind of entertaining. So Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection. Then you've got Prometheus and Alien Covenant, which the prequel series, and uh, to be honest, I love them quite a bit. I watch them quite a lot. I, I'm, I'm intrigued by the stories. Uh, anyway. And I don't actually find the acting to be bad or the story plot lines to be bad. I just think that they could have made it a little bit different and people would appreciate it a lot more. Then you've got the Predator franchise. So the first movie, Predator. Predator 2. 
Predators, which is actually, uh, to be honest, my favorite of the Predator series. Excuse me. Robert Rodriguez uh, production or direction. And then The Predator, which is the latest one. Uh, not my favorite. Ah, but it's okay. It's entertaining a little bit. Then you've got Alien vs. Predator. I, ref I so far do not uh, have Alien vs. Predator Requiem because uh, it's kind of odd. Uh, it's a it's not a very good movie, <laughs> so but I do enjoy Alien vs Predator. Then you've got one of my favorite television series, the first television series that I remember getting into, which is Battlestar Galactica, the original one from 1978. I'm actually watching that series as well and doing a review of it on my channel. You've got the uh, sequel Galactica 1980. Then you've got another classic, um, Planet of the Apes, the first five movies in this box set over here. I don't want to take them all out and it's dusty as well. So I, <laughs> I need to clean again. It gets really dusty over here. Uh, the first five movies and then Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and War for the Planet of the Apes, which I think is really awesome. Uh, the whole series as, as such is pretty good, but I think the last one was really, really good. Then I've got another favorite 80s television series of my childhood, the complete collection of V, which I have reviewed on my uh, channel over here. I got all the Matrix 3 movies. I uh, don't have an the Animatrix, but I've got these three movies. That's more than enough for me. The first season of The Orville, which is awesome. Uh, classic uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey from Stanley Kubrick. And the sequel, 2010, The Year We Make Contact. Then a cult classic, Starship Sto uh, Stars. Sorry, can't seem to speak. Starship Troopers. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, which I actually only watched for the first time very recently. I think like last year. And then I got the DVD. Event Horizon, which is one of my favorite sci-fi horror movies. In fact, I think it's pretty underrated. It's a it's a, it's a, a must-watch for me. Um, and must-have, definitely. Evolution, which is pretty funny. Uh, Passengers uh, is okay. It's pretty entertaining. It's a beautiful movie to watch as well. Then you've got uh, Pitch Black, which is Vin Diesel, probably at his best, and uh, Independence Day, which is how Will Smith got us independence. <laughs> Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum got us independence from the aliens. And we continue on with, uh, like I said, they're not in alphabetic order. They're not really in particular order, but this section is <laughs> in alphabetic order for some reason. This is again all continuation of my science fiction series up till, up till here. Sorry, science fiction movies. Um, so we got The Abyss, we got Arrival, which is a brilliant movie and uh, very touching. I watched it in the theatres. Then Avatar, uh, Back to the Future, the three movie collection. Again, childhood favourite. Uh, we got Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049, which I really loved. Contact, another beautiful movie. District 9, Edge of Tomorrow, Fifth Element, which is uh, something I can watch. Uh, Easily, uh, many times, and I've watched it, I think, around 20, 20 times at least. Firefly, the complete series, uh, Serenity. Um, so I put them together because it's continuation of the series. Uh, then you've got Forbidden Planet with a very young uh, Leslie Nielsen. Um, we lost him, unfortunately. Uh, Galaxy Quest, which is awesome. Gravity, John Carter, the Jurassic Park, uh, first three movies in Jurassic Park, The Lost World, and Jurassic Park 3. Then you've got Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which was ridiculous, <laughs> but it was still okay. Logan's Run, which is a classic that I really want to get back into. I've watched it twice, uh, but not in the last, I think, maybe 15, 16 years. Uh, then we got The Martian, which I really enjoyed quite a lot. Paul, which I have mentioned before, along with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost and Seth Rogen. It's like really awesome movie. Um... Then you got the Star Wars prequel trilogy and Star Wars, the um, the actual, the original movie. So see uh, episodes one, two and three, four, five and six. I have only The Force Awakens. I don't have the other movies as yet, but I will get them someday. Uh, right next to it, you see the Polish edition of, uh, of Stargate, the 1994 movie. Uh, it's written in uh, in Polish, but I really do like the cover. That's why I decided to get it. And I couldn't find the other one for a long time. It's since now back in uh, in stock in uh, on uh, Amazon UK, so I might get that as well. Then you got the I don't have all of them, but I do have most of them. Uh, the Terminators franchise, 
Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines and Terminator Salvation. I will get the others, uh, the next two movies. The last one, I know it's malign but I didn't actually mind it that much and in fact I actually found it kind of entertaining. The last in the science fiction series, uh, science fiction movie series is here is Valerian and, uh, sorry, Valerian and the planet, sorry, City of Thousand Planets, which I was, it was pretty amazing to see in the in the theatres and uh, once more when I watched it here. Uh, and I, I enjoyed it quite a lot. I really do like that movie quite a bit. Then again, um, it's mostly comedies and some drama. Um, let me start from here. Mrs. Doubtfire, the late Robin Williams, Ted and Ted 2, um, Conan the Barbarian, Conan the uh, Destroyer, two movies from my childhood that I really love and still do. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. In fact, you can actually call this um, a science fiction animation because I know it's science fiction, uh, sorry, it's an animated movie but still uh, got a lot of science fiction elements in it. Pretty good fun to watch, especially the first one. Then if you're a Rush fan, you definitely have to get I Love You Man, which is a movie about two guys bonding for their for their mutual love of the band Rush. And um, then you've got the Ice Age 5 movies, which was actually funny. When I placed the order uh, for, I actually placed the order for um, for four box sets uh, and the Ice Age and uh, Despicable Me movies were actually in it. And I thought size-wise, the Despicable Me collection would actually be this this size. And well, no, I thought they would be like vice versa size because it's five movies over here, but still. I really enjoy the Ice Age. Probably they're my favorite animated movie franchise as you can see all five of them with, with this guy in the front then we've got an awesome movie called The Founder which is about the guy who made uh, McDonald's what it is Logan which is supposed to be in my superhero collection but uh, yeah I need to do some rearranging later The Never Ending Story which I've never done a review for I have to do it because it's definitely one of my favorites for my childhood um, Hidden Treasures, which is again another one of my favorite movies. Uh, Knocked Up, which is pretty fun. Over here we've got Bandit Like Beckham, which I absolutely love. Then you've got Kong's Skull Island Buried, which is a drama movie uh, showcasing Ryan Reynolds at his best. Fantastic Beats, Beasts, and Where to Find Them, which I really liked. I didn't like the uh, sequel that much, but this one was pretty fun to watch. Watchmen. Um, Again, very good. Uh, again, supposed to be superhero. So I will eventually do some um, rearranging over here much later. Hellboy, which is technically a superhero movie. And I somehow have two copies of Shazam. I don't know exactly what happened. <laughs> Maybe I made a mistake. Then I've got two movies from Tom Cruise, uh, Jack Reacher and Jack Reacher Never Go Back. I enjoy them quite a lot. There's recently recent purchase. Uh, La La Land, The Meg, The Shape of Water. Uh, Harold and Kumar. This is a UK edition, so therefore uh, it says Harold and Kumar get the munchies, but it's more popularly known as Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. One of the best funny movies that I've that I have seen. I love them. I love these a lot. As do uh, I, I. It's pretty similar as Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay, and uh, I don't have the third one, but which isn't uh, as good as the others. But I will get that as well. I got Troy. Um, Apocalypto, which is one of my favorite movies. Uh, I can't stand Mel Gibson, but um, that movie is pretty awesome. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Then you got the three Austin Power movies. Austin Powers, Austin Powers, it, that is International Spy, what is it? Man of Mystery, uh, it, The uh, Spy Who Shagged Me, and Gold Member. Which, the Spy Who Shagged Me is probably my. Nah, I think I like the first two equal, equally, and third one is like, okay, it's not that great. Do not like Beyonce at all. Yes, shocking. <laughs> and then you've got Turner and uh, all the, um, the I call this this section over here my dog collection. Turner and Hooch, uh, which is Tom Hanks and uh, at the most ugliest dog in the world, but uh, he gets to you at the end. A Dog's Way Home, which I loved. Uh, dog's Purpose and Hachi A Dog's Tale, the movie that made me cry like a baby. <laughs> I've got um, a stand for my phone and a, one of my Star Trek uh, starships. And this is my uh, currently not being used Echo. Okay, ah, come back over here. This is my uh, superhero collection, which uh, I think I'm going to have to dust again. 
I had some work done today, so that's why it's a little bit more dusty than I expected. And I've got some of my Funko Pops, so let's have a look. I got Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Aquaman, Avengers Assemble, Avengers um, Age of Ultron, Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. And uh, absolutely loved Infinity War and Endgame. Uh, yeah, there's the four Batman movie, first four Batman movies, uh, Batman Anthology. Uh, I'm planning to get an, uh, they get the individual DVDs separately anyhow. Batman Begins, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, Batman vs Superman. Um, controversial uh, opinion over here. I think Ben Affleck is the best Batman. <laughs> uh, I like his portrayal the best and uh, to be to be honest, I never did like Ben Affleck quite a, uh, at all. Uh, well, I wouldn't say I didn't like him, but uh, yeah, it wasn't one of my favorites uh, until I saw him as Batman. I actually think he makes a super Batman. That's my opinion. You got The Crow with Brandon Lee. The three Captain America movies, First Avenger, The Winter Soldier and Civil War, which is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, I like The Winter Soldier as well, but I think Civil War is just a, maybe a slight edge. Uh, whenever I think of best movies, um, normally superhero movies don't really come into the picture, but Civil War does. And yeah, I would say Infinity War and uh, Endgamer as well do. Captain Marvel, Deadpool, Deadpool 2. Oh, some of my favorites and there's Deadpool over here. I need to change their position but again I need a little bit more dusting because of the work that was done. Um, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, only the first one I don't have the second one. Um, then uh, I place an order for with a Indian seller um, here on, on I think on Flipkart or Amazon and I wanted Hellboy but uh, he goofed up and gave me Hancock and Hellboy I probably might sell that off. Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, uh, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, I don't have Iron Man 3, Justice League, Superman, The 1978, I believe, Christopher Reeve movie, Superman 2, uh, I don't have the other two, I should get it, uh, Man of Steel, Spider-Man, all five movies, and that box set over there, like I said, Spidey's over there, but Captain America and Batman, of course, Deadpool, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, I don't have the new movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first three movies and the animated movie. Uh, the third one might not be my favorite, but the other three definitely are some awesome movies. Now we got Thor and Thor Ragnarok and The Dark World. I need to switch those around. Uh, Venom, which I didn't like that much. Wonder Woman, X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men The Last Stand, Wolverine. Uh, sorry, X-Men Origin Wolverine. The Wolverine, um, and I should put Logan over there after... The Wolverine and then it's X-Men First Class, uh, X-Men Days of the Future Past. So like I said, I do need to rearrange my um, my collection over here. <sighs> okay, then I've got Neil Young, Heart of Gold, which is a concert documentary. Uh, Regenesis, the first season. These are, uh, I mean, Regenesis, the first season and Angel, the full series are actually a Hong Kong, or at least a Chinese um, knockoff. DVD which I got many many years ago. Then I've got the first three, I'm oh, sorry, the, yeah, the first three John Wick movies. John Wick, John Wick 2, John Wick 3. Um, yeah, uh, I want to get the John Wick uh, Funko Pop as well. Yeah, John Wick is awesome. Keanu Reeves is awesome. Liam Neeson's Taken Trilogy, all three movies. Then I've got for uh, music concerts and a documentary from All About Rush. Rush in Rio, Rush uh, R40 Live, um, Rush Time Stand Still, and then you've got Rush Beyond the Lighted Stage, which is one of the best documentaries you can ever see about a musical band or even otherwise. <laughs> Pan's Labyrinth, which is one of my favorite movies, but I have only watched it once. Um, I love Nestle Nielsen and his uh, uh, deadpan <laughs> style of comedy. The Naked Gun, Naked Gun, Smell of Fear. Um, and Naked Gun 33 and 1 by 3, The Final Insult. I uh, need to get a few movies more of his because I absolutely love the, love the guy to death. Uh, really sorry he passed away. But yeah, he was pretty old. Um, my Cousin Vinny and School of Rock, which are two of my favorite movies to watch. Uh, the Wrestler, which I believe Mickey Rourke uh, should have gotten a, an Oscar for that movie. Ghostbusters 2, I don't have Ghostbusters 1. Uh, definitely to get that. The Da Vinci Code, which is, I enjoy that quite a bit. Pearl Jam, which is one of my other favorite bands, along with the Bare Naked Ladies and Rush. 
And speaking of the bare naked ladies, uh, because it doesn't really fit into the uh, the section, I've got the bare naked ladies. I've not actually um, opened it yet. The bare naked ladies. Talk to the hand, which is their live in Michigan DVD concert. I definitely have to open that soon. So these three are my favorite bands. If you didn't understand that by now, uh, Pearl Jam, Rush, bare naked ladies. Okay, where were we? Yeah. Um, so then we got some in these are more Indian editions and I definitely do want to upgrade them and get some better proper cuts. Uh, this is the 300 and 300 uh, Rise of Empire movies which I enjoyed quite a bit. 2012 um, it's not really science fiction I refuse to put it in my science fiction collection. <laughs> the uh, yeah definitely not upgrade these. Um, to, uh, the, lo the three um, Lord of the Rings movies and the three Hobbit movies. Bruce Almighty, which is one of my favorite comedy movies, starring Jim Carrey. Blast from the Past. Um, this is a second copy of uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. I definitely will uh, sell it. Barbarella, which is a fun sci-fi comedy, so I definitely should have it in my science fiction collection. The Departed, which is another of my favorite movies. Eight movies of Abbott and Costello. <laughs> uh, black and white comedies, they are the best, man. <laughs> Some of them are really hilarious. I've got an extra copy of uh, The Kingdom of the Great Crystal Skull by Indiana Jones. I'm going to give that away as well. The Jungle Book, Moana, uh, Pixels, Shawshank Redemption, Spotlight, another favorite movie. of other two. These are two big favorite movies of mine. The Shawshank Redemption and Spotlight. Wayne's World, which is another favorite comedy movie of mine. I must get Wayne's World too. Then I've got Yes Man and You've Got Mail, which is one of my favorite, probably my favorite romantic movie. And then we have my small, we're ending with my small horror collection. That's 30 Days of Night, which is an underrated uh, vampire movie. Uh, Annabelle, uh, I don't have the others, but I will get them eventually. As Above, So Below, uh, which is pretty good. Carrie, the original. Conjuring 2, I must get Conjuring 1. Constantine, um, I'm not really sure that fits in under horror, but I have it there. Diary of the Dead, The Descent, which is one of my favorites. Don't Breathe, which I just rewatched uh, recently. Drag Me to Hell, which is horror and uh, some comedy. And uh, kind of kick-started my love of comedy movies once again uh, when I watched it in 2011. Then I've got my Dracula collection. Uh, need to rearrange that, but uh, yeah, this is Scars of Dracula the and then from the Hammer Horror series. But then uh, right next to it is the... Uh, three Dracula movies from the Dracula 2000 series. It's actually Dracula 2000, 2000 but um, in some areas it's called Dracula 2001, then Dracula 2 and Dracula 3 Ascension. Uh, sorry, Dracula 2 Ascension and Dracula 3, which is not that great, but the other two are pretty good movies. Then you got the um, the 1958 Dracula movie starring Christopher Lee, Satanic Rites of Dracula, uh, Dracula AD 1972, The Taste the Blood of Dracula, then you've got the new Evil Dead. Uh, I will be placing an order for the other three movies of Evil Dead. The Exorcist behind Pennywise. You've got Friday the 13th, the um, first four movies. Then Friday the 13th, the last, uh, the five to eight uh, movies. Uh, movies five to eight. Then you've got the last two movies, which is uh, Jason X and Jason Goes. Sorry. Uh, Jason Go to Hell, The Final Friday, and Jason X. So uh, ten movies from the... Friday the, Fran uh, Friday the 13th franchise. Then you got Gremlins, which is a childhood favorite of mine. Really can't call it a horror, but <laughs> uh, people seem to put it into horror sometimes. But I think of it more as a comedy. Uh, it, Stephen King's It, the miniseries, and Stephen, K K Stephen King's It, the new movie. Uh, I don't have the chapter 2. I definitely would place an order for that. Land of the Dead, Mama, Martyrs, which is a really touching movie for a horror movie. The Mist, again, another one, a pretty awesome movie. I've got the first three Paranormal Activity movies, um, Pet Cemetery, the first two Saw movies, which are in the uh, which are not in the correct order, but I'll fix that later. The Mummy Legacy Collection, uh, the Wolfman Legacy Collection. Um, I've not watched all of them. I watched the first three Mummy movies and the... Um, I watched the first two Wolfman movies, uh, which I like quite a bit. And then you've got um, the first two Underworld movies, which, uh, again, I don't really see them as horror or action-oriented movies with supernatural elements. But it 
I'll put it over here for the time being. So that's it. And that's it for my collection. This video is 30 minutes long. I did not expect to have it this long. But yeah, that's my collection so far. Hope you enjoyed this video. And my phone is heating up. Thank you guys. Take care.